I've been reading your book, which I bought for, through your website, um, which is, you know, this is, this is what I, no, I'm not, I'm a fascinating read. Um, it's titled, What is my child telling me that I'm not getting yet? Um, which is an interesting one. But uh, the question I suppose I might put to you is, that title suggests that this is a book for parents, but obviously what we've got today, we will have parents watching, but primarily they are practitioners. Um, are we going to get something that they will be able to use in conjunction with their parents and their baby and um, infant children? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there are many people who uh, teach um, therapists and chiropractors and osteopaths, and they're very good at that job. Now, one of the reasons why I chose to go down um, helping parents is that I have many um, professionals who come to me uh, who are parents and medical professionals, chiropractors, osteopaths, physiotherapists, they come with their children because what they find is that when this difficulty arrives at their home, they then start to look at life very differently because they may have had a preconceived idea as to how this child could or should be treated. But somehow or other, when it's your child, you look mm. beyond that, you extend and you um, put your own beliefs on hold and look at things very differently. So I've been very privileged that I've had pediatricians who come to me with their children. And not that I want to have that accolade as such, I just see them as a parent. I, even though they will maybe write that on an intake form, and some of them don't actually, it's only in the course of conversation when I ask them how they were and what they were working at during their child's pregnancy, because that has an impact on the child, that I may then hear the story that they're a teacher, that they are a GP, that they had through a stressful time and so forth. So it's not the actual profession that I'm particularly interested in. It's the actual um uh, and how their nervous system was dealing with their pregnancy at that time. Right. So, again, getting back to your book, if a, if a practitioner were to read your book, would that be at least a starting point in right. them being able to offer good advice to the parents? Yeah, because it, it, it would be nice to do a poll here, Stephen, as to how many parents are listening, not just using the, um, the title, the hat of a... A professional yeah. um, because when we view it as a parent we then also then need to address our own unaddressed childhood issues and that's why I geared it towards mm. not just parents because so many professionals have written it or have read the book and even my reviews and parents will say it has made me look at my own childhood and um, how that has impacted on how I rear my child and if I get people to think like that you as a parent will also view your children and the babies that come into your practice you will also view them as a parent and not just a musculoskeletal specialist or or whatever um, discipline yeah. or profession that you um, uh, that you have yeah. so and also the title what I'm also helping parents with is that they already know this stuff on some sort of level. And what I'm doing is empowering them to look at it through another window, to just reflect on what they're already saying. And empowerment is probably one of the biggest things that I can work with, with a mum and, of course, with a dad.